Warm greetings everyone, I hope you are well as we delve back into the ZX Spectrum's archive. My name is Nick and this one is Hong Kong Fui, yes Hong Kong Fui, number one super guy, published by High Tech Software in 1990 and based on the cartoons by Hanna Barbera of course, um, which was uh, started by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera in 1974 that originally uh, um, aired. Anyway, you control Hong Kong Fui, who's um, um, well, he's an undercover agent called uh, Penrod Penny Pooch so it's a dog that works at police stations, a mild mannered janitor. Here he is jumping up and down. And he's um, he must uh, locate an evil baron somewhere in this mess and bring him to justice. Hooray! Now there's thugs there which we can kick down like that. He moves a bit weird this. Uh, oh look at that, he floats down the stairs. Very unusual. So we'll see how this one plays. There's thugs collapsing platforms, uh, switches, doors and acids. So you must guide your way through the level to get to the exit to get the baron. Now, this does move very strangely. If I don't do very well on this, I have got a cheap but infinite uh, strength, a bit or infinite lies, one of the two. Keep going, Hong Kong Vui. I'm not overly impressed so far. Um, no music to this, it doesn't seem um, odd uh, sounds when you jump, a bit like he's uh, flatulent. Here's Hong Kong Vui. Uh, it's in monochrome. I'm sure you spotted that already. Well, there's a conveyor belt. Right. It doesn't control overly good, this. It reminds me a little bit. Although it's much better. It reminds me a little bit of Count Duckula 2, which was a blooming awful game, the way it jumps. It's good graphics, uh, the way he uh, does that sort of kick, I suppose. But going downstairs is very, very weird. Let's just explore this. Uh, it's interesting. If you're a fan of Hong Kong for the cartoon, you probably would have loaded uh, this a little bit. I think I might have ended up getting a bit bored, unless it does something exciting quite soon. He floats down like that. Hmm. It's interesting, it's unique. Would I have come back to it? Well, I haven't been playing it that long. Um, I, it, it seems to be a little bit lacking to me. But if we can find an exit and there's a great end of level boss, it might warm to me. Yes, the music went Hong Kong Fui, number one super guy. Hong Kong Fui, quicker than the human eye. And no one knew who Hong Kong Fui was, despite Hong Kong Fui's a dog. And the only other person in the station was also a dog. Game over, right? Okay, so that wasn't particular fun. Now in the cartoon, Hong Kong Fui was a little bit inept, a bit like my gameplay, but he was always rescued by some cat. I think, what was the cat's name? I think the cat was called Spot or something like that, who always went round and really sold everything. Yeah, where is Spot in this? I need him. It's just one player. Kill that bug. Now, we should have infinite um, strength on, I think. You see the strength going down, I think, on the left in green, going up and down. Right, so I've got no strength left. I'm still alive, I think. Hmm. Well, we're in some kind of warehouse, I guess. Come on, Fooey. Yeah, that's unforgivable, the way he moves down the stairs. He doesn't even walk for it down them. He just floats. Yeah, that's lazy programming, I should say. But the graphics in Hong Kong Fooey are acceptable. It definitely looks like Hong Kong Fooey. It's got a few moves, kicks and punches. So that's okay. It's just, it's not, um, the footsteps are sort of okay as he's walking along. It's just, there's a few things that annoy me about it. This floating down the stairs isn't great. Let's just find the exit. Now, if you had this one back in the day, then do let me know. Uh, come out also on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64, so you might have played it on there. Uh, kids who are fan of Hong Kong Fooey would end up with this one, but quite often games with a tie-in tie license, there were a few exceptions, weren't particularly great. If you compare this to other TV licenses, like my favourite one, The Trap Door, it's, um, well, miles behind. Do check out the games The Trap Door, and uh, I think it's Beneath The Trap Door, though my preference is for the first one, but both of those are pretty cool. Large, bold graphics. Yeah. This one could end up frustrating a kid. When you compare this to other platformers, if you look at the Dan Dare games, they're much better than this. Um, lots much better than this, to be honest with you. Up against the competition, it's not great. Things firing at me there. Um, yeah, that's unforgivable, that floaty bit. I don't know. You look at Jet Set Willy when he walks down the stairs. You know, every it, as soon as you start comparing this game to other ones, you just realise, yeah... Um, once you get past the, the fun of controlling the Fooey man with his kicks and punches, there's not a great deal there. Not much charm. Oh, I think that might be a switch there we need to press. Is it? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, yeah. Um, a walkthrough will be good to try and get anything out of this game whatsoever. I think that's the cat in the graphic there next to, in the bottom in blue, next to the Hong Kong Fooey thing. Yeah, so I'm sort of like lost now. Definitely need a map. Hmm. 
as you see on the bottom right there, that graphic of the dog, that's Hong Kong Fui, really, as he's his uh, alter ego, as his normal everyday man, Penroyd Penny Pooch, the janitor at the police station. They were always saying, who is Hong Kong Fui? They didn't know who it was, but everyone watching did. Now, this is a bit, un now this is very frustrating. Despite these are stairs, you can't walk back up them. You have to jump and time the jump perfectly. That's, that's rubbish. That's rubbishy, rubbishy, rubbishy. Yeah. Earlier on we viewed the game The Goonies, which wasn't perfect, but it was much better than this in terms of platformers. I find it much more fun. The na the um, navigation around the map, especially going up the stairs here, is a pain in the bottom. And that's about as rude as I get. Yeah, would I... Now, see, now that I've, I've tried to experience going up the stairs, I don't think I would have played this ever again. I think one or two goes at maximum, and then I would have said goodbye, fooey. Uh much prefer watching the cartoon to this. It's very imprecise. What are the good bits then? Well, I think I told you. The good bits are the graphics on Fooey. It can do kicks and punches. Um, bad bits. Monochrome, but we can let that go a bit. Level design, poor. Going up the stairs, poor. The way he floats down the stairs, poor. Music, not great. Well, there isn't any. Sound is a bit weird, weedly. Um, and it isn't much fun. It's a bit arduous. It doesn't feel like a fun game to play. It's arduous. Oh, there's a lift there. That was quite cool as he as he uh, rips into the game. But yeah, I can't jump up there. Now, presumably, if I miss any of these, there's a chance I might fall all the way to the bottom and have to do this again, which would take absolutely ages. Now, if you love this game, let me know, because this is just an impression of me on my first go. You might have, you might have persevered with it a bit and got a lot, lot more out of it. I'm presuming if you get to the second stage it's a different colour, maybe blue or green or something. You never know. You never know. So let us know the details. Commodore 64 and the Astro CPC might have had a bit more colour to it, but I'm presuming they played roughly the same. Yeah. Anyway, the best bit of Hong Kong Pooey is the music and the stupid storylines. This hasn't got a stupid storyline, you just have to capture a baron and it hasn't got the music. Number one super guy. Well, it's Hong Kong Fooey, number one super guy, but it's definitely not a number one super game. It's not even in the top 200 or 600. I think I've reviewed about 600 games now on Spectrum. Not really one to come to. It's a curio. You know, if you're into everything Fooey, I don't know, if you went into Amazon and typed in Hong Kong Fooey, I don't know how many things would come up. Probably a DVD or something. Yeah, it's quite a basic cartoon, but I did, I did like it as a kid. It was quite good fun. Didn't last very long, I don't think, each episode. Anyway, about, about the same length as Batfink. Now, Batfink was a great cartoon. I'm not sure that made it to a, a, a computer game, I don't think. Yeah. Other ones I haven't tried out yet. Cartoons there. I think there's Yogi Bear, so another Hanna-Barbera uh, connection. Hmm. Have they used uh, high-tech software to produce it? Again, I'm not sure. I don't want to look at it. Remember, this is 1990, so quite near the end of the ZX Spectrum's run. So Spectrum games had to be absolutely super duper brilliant uh, to survive in that 16-bit era. Um, but this one, there's no reason in the 16-bit era. There's no really reason to buy this on the ZX Spectrum. Don't know if this come out on the Commodore Amiga or anything else. But as you can see, I'm completely and utterly super last as he floats down like a like a nincompoop. Yeah. Fooey. I think that's what I would have said. The polite would have actually bought this back in the day. I would have said, "Old oh, fooey." Oh man, I really want to turn this off now. Let's uh, let's just play for another minute or so, just in case I find some door or that switch I try to activate suddenly does something magical. That window's broken. That must be a switch, mustn't it? It's hard to tell. It's not doing anything. If you know, let me know, because there's something blooming obvious I'm not doing. Because the game can't be this dull, surely. Surely not. I mean... We, we beat up the thugs, they're not regenerating, they're not turning up again, so they're doomed. There's no timer on this. Um, it would have been good if there had been, like, uh, every so often a few clues littered around the place, like an arrow that just flashes up telling you where to go. Maybe, like, one or two a level. But um, this level is pretty much... Oh, look, they did regenerate up there, but I don't think I've been there yet. It, it does... Yeah. It's just the going up the stairs kills it for me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not liking this at all. I mean, it's not the most hideous of games in the world there, it's a playability. I mean, a good bit, when he walks along, that's quite good animation. Why couldn't they carry that on, that level of um, uh, clever coding? Why couldn't they could have carried that on with going up the stairs, but they just they just haven't done that whatsoever? Oh, come on, I must be able to jump on this thing. Can I jump on this thing? No. 
Oh man, see, I know, I know you pro- Oh no! Oh look at that! I know you probably can jump on that level up there, but you've got to be pixel perfect, and falling down these stairs again is not great fun whatsoever. Come on, fooey. Number one super guy of my hat. Din 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 diddly diddy diddly diddly diddy diddy Woof Man uh, He's an exponent of I suppose Kung Fu But I, I probably would have been better taking Bruce Lee into this to get the Baron Undercover Dog If you are an undercover dog of some martial art then comment below What's your name? This is Hong Kong Fui what plate? What other areas are you? London Jiu Jitsu or something? Comment below. There's a bit of fun there. We can just try and ease out of this. Well, we will leave it there because I don't like it. That game was Hong Kong Fui, which I might have mentioned, published by High Tech Software in 1990. Um, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or cartoon based, then put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, and there will be a next time. Take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.